<clears throat> what we have going here is an early morning flip of the of the compost pile. I was going to do it last night, but I almost cut my finger off. So I let it develop a scab first. I was cutting up these parsnips here for the compost, and my finger hit underneath some leaves as I was chopping. Didn't see it. Darn near chopped it off. I'm not going to go too much longer with this. i got to get some uh, biochar incorporated into it yet. So I'll do it that long. Get that biochar in it. Got me in. It doesn't have me all the way. If I'm on this side, not quite. So let's lift her up just a bit. There. This here, this can I made biochar in. What I have is a cover for this can, and I had the cover on. There's a couple of holes in the can. And I filled the can up with live wood. Dead wood, it doesn't seem to work as well. So live wood, live branches from trees. So now you don't have to cut down a tree either. Just take some of the branches and place it in here, put the cover in with the holes on, and you throw it into your wood burner as it's burning. You know, it's creating heat for your house, so you got a double use out of that heat. And it's really neat how, how you watch. This is burning without oxygen, and it's forcing the, uh, the oxygen and the wood out of these holes, and there's flames coming out of these holes. But the wood itself inside is not burning. So it actually contributes to heating the house as well when I'm doing this, or the cabin. And once it's finished, you're going to know it's done. My biochar is that it'll, it'll break real easy. Look at that. See, it breaks real easy. It creates this shiny surface. And it's really easy to crumple up in your hand. And I'm adding it to compost. This is an aerobic compost pile where I'm flipping it every two days or so to continually add oxygen to the pile. Any other way, and it's not aerobic. You know, even people put these tubes in and all this, there's still parts of the pile that are going to go anaerobic. You've got to turn it. And turning it as you turn the outside, you make it the inside of the new pile that you're making as you're turning. So this aerobic compost is making a tremendous amount of bacteria. Unbelievable amount. Trillions. Maybe even a trillion species of bacteria. And that bacteria and other soil life later is what's going to fill in the home that's created for them by all this surface material of biochar. This is important to know that uh, if you have a natural garden, and I'm not going to say organic because organic people haul in all this stuff from all over, all over the place, hundreds of miles away sometimes, just to get, keep their organic signature. So these natural gardens, you know, they, they, they don't rely on, on very little input. So what you do is you encourage soil lake to grow. The bacterias and there's beneficial nematodes and flagellates. And I don't even know the names of them all. I'm not a scientist, but I know there's a lots of different kinds of soil life. And that life is eating and secreting the fertilizer that our plants need to grow. Their dead bodies, after they've done their function, is the fertilizer for our plants. That's a fact. Biochar addition to the soil, giving all the surface material, giving more homes for soil life, means more fertilizer, and better crops that you're going to grow in the garden. That's the fact.
have lift off. Got our biochar in there. Turn it two more times. Make my Langham circle style beds here in this composting area. Plant her up. Okay, thanks for watching.